Because my mum deemed Scooby-Doo too scary to watch, I was only ever allowed to listen to it. News <laughs> team, what do, you, what do you make of that? <laughs> How would you do that? Would you have to be in another room or...? I was allowed to be in the room where the TV was. Um, I had to wear a blindfold. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> it was a tea towel. But it, you know, I was small, so I had a small head. It went round my head. So you, you she tied the tea towel round <laughs> your eyes, in what can only be described as a hostage situation. <laughs> <laughs> and then she left you in the room. She stayed in the room to make sure that I didn't take it off. Why didn't she just say close your eyes and make sure you don't open them? I think she just, she just wanted to be sure that I wouldn't Peak. be able to. Yeah, because uh, like she would sit next to me, but. She wanted to watch it. It was one of her favourite programmes. So... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's focus on that bit for a moment. Your mum's favourite programme was Scooby-Doo. Yeah, amongst other things. What other things? Amongst the news. Well, um... she obviously wasn't quite sure what kind of person she was. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you like? Oh, you know, the news, Scooby-Doo, that's it. <laughs> Anything else? Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> and would she do that thing they do for, you know, the audio description? Would she say, <laughs> would she say, and now Scooby-Doo is running away? Because <laughs> it's quite a hard show to follow audibly. <laughs> 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 you have to rely on seeing it, don't you? Wait, wait. In the words of Rob Brydon, I'm doing Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think what you were trying to do was... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Hummy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm gonna seven series in and he can't let me have one moment, can he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're blindfold in the living room. And how old are you? Uh, it stopped when I was about 16 and just... 16? <laughs> so at 16, your mum would tie a tea towel around your head when Scooby-Doo was on? Yeah, but by then we just liked the ritual of it. It was just... Oh, it was a ritual now. <laughs> <laughs> Were you ever tempted to phone Childline? No. Well, you, you couldn't find couldn't the phone, find could you? <laughs> now, what about Scrappy-Doo? If Scooby-Doo was a bit heavy and some of the issues were a little bit, you know, difficult to deal with, Scrappy-Doo was a lot, a lot more accessible, wasn't it? How, how did she feel about that? Is that um, a kind of spin-off? Is that a kind of spin-off? <laughs> it's Scrappy-Doo! It's, it is... Look what you've done to my voice! <laughs> it's it's Scrappy-Doo, it's the little version of... There's no point saying little. She couldn't see it. <laughs> well, it was a smaller dog with a... Yeah, but, you... <laughs> yeah, but if you can't see it, that could be a Great Dane on helium. She doesn't know the size <laughs> of the thing, does she? You In fact, don't... it was a Great Dane, wasn't it? Scooby-Doo. I don't know. I never I don't saw Scooby-Doo. The Marmaduke is a great saw Scooby -Doo. No, no. <laughs> Are you my dad, Charles? Which <laughs> <laughs> Charles? Did you ask me if I was your father? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your mother? <laughs> so, what are you thinking? Truth or lie? I think she's lying. You think she's lying? I think she's lying. I think she's lying. Well, then I must go with my team and say okay. she's lying. You say it's a lie. Izzy, truth or lie? It is a lie. Uh. Yeah.